this is the state of the nation, and we have a lot to talk about. So much has been going on in the last few days. But one of the things that is really important is to talk about how the prevent strategy has been working or not working. Uh, we had a report recently that came out that showed that freedom is effectively under threat more than at any time in our recent history. Now, is this just hyperbole? But the prevent program that was established to monitor people at risk of Islamist radicalization has been looking at people like me. That's how the program has gone astray, and that's what William Shawcross's report showed. It's been taken over by people who were embarrassed to say Islamist terrorism. They failed to define this term in public. In the eyes of the left-wing establishment, extremists turned out to mean anyone who mocked their idea of the state. The Cabinet Secretary even said that people who opposed lockdown were extreme right-wingers. But a programme established to protect the British people from a murderous threat became an exercise in politically correct control. The Shawcost report found that Prevent monitored, and I quote, a cohort of social media users it termed actively patriotic and proud. Now, you and I may think that being actively patriotic and proud is a good thing, but the leftists didn't, and it listed a prominent Conservative politician and former member of the government as being supposedly among figures associated with far-right sympathetic audiences and Brexit. And that person was me. So what do you think it was they found so threatening about me? Is it my double-breasted suits, my distribution of extremist literature, like the novels of P.G. Woodhouse, with his dangerous, newt-loving character, Gussie Finknottle, Bingo Little, or um, Ufi Prosser, the um, Drones Club's millionaire? My repeated wearing in public of cufflinks is perhaps dangerous, or striped shirts indicate a radical streak. But this is both comical and sinister. The list of potential red flags included those who enjoy the great film and performances of Alec Guinness in A Bridge Over the River Kwai, Sean Bean in the on-screen adaptation of Bern Cornwall's Sharp novels, or even those who enjoy learning a bit of outdoors on a Sunday afternoon with Ray Mears Bushcraft. They were all seen as a step towards right-wing extremism. So I'm afraid, my dear viewers, you've got to be careful that you're not thought of as being a threat, according to the left-wing blob. Because what will now get us, you, on a list is doing what people in this country didn't think twice about for hundreds of years. Being proud of our country, upholding our traditions, standing up for the national anthem, doing those things that make our country a wonderful place to live, a special place, a valued place. It turned out that anyone who doesn't subscribe to the views of the people running Prevent were extremists, including those who gently mocked the state. So, yes, Minister. Yes, Minister Sir Humphrey was considered dangerous. The Sir Humphreys thought Sir Humphrey was dangerous. There seems to be some illogicality in that. The demands of the Liberal establishment are so extreme that they have become anti-democratic. They do not trust the people to govern themselves. And you actually saw this today in a um, leak or a comment from a government minister saying the row over Sue Gray would encourage GB News viewers and conspiracy theorists. You see, they're nervous of people like us who believe in democracy. And we mustn't have a public life that is only for people who don't like our country. We are a good people, a kind people, a noble people, a free people. We may allow room for fusty old eccentrics like me, but our traditions are not fusty or eccentric. Parliament, free speech, sovereignty, freedom of association, patriotism, trust in each other. They are what keep us free and prosperous. And the passing fads of the increasingly absurd liberal establishment, the European Union, the open borders, the suppression of national identity, that led to Brexit. That's why they are failing. So be of good heart, take cheer, the power of the blob will not succeed. Brexit shows how we can govern ourselves. And this exposure of prevent also shows the lunacy of the blob. And Nicola Sturgeon's downfall was perhaps the icing on the cake. Anyone who frightened of me or Yes Minister is such a looney tune that the British voter will never let them succeed.